Hey everybody, and welcome to this week's Sunday Musings, where every week I spend a few minutes talking about something that's important to me or that's on my mind. If you're interested in a little more detail, every week I also have a written blog on Medium with a link right here that goes into a bit more detail. So this week I want to take a moment to celebrate the LGBTQ Pride Month in a way that I think works for me. As a scientist and geek, should be no surprise to anybody out there, I want to take a few minutes to celebrate just a handful of the LGBTQ plus scientists that have helped change our world. I also want to put a little bit of caveat in there. But let me take a step back. June in the US is known as Gay Pride Month, or more recently, it was amended to the LGBTQ plus month. Um, I've also heard it announced as the LGBTQAIP plus month. LGBTQAIP plus is a very inclusive umbrella term and includes but is not limited to those who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer or questioning, intersexed, asexual or allies, pansexual and polysexual. It includes people who are non-binary, basically anybody who does not identify as a sexual orientation of heterosexual. And it is inclusive of anybody on the gender identity spectrum, wherever you might fall. As that background, I wanted to just take a few minutes to shine a spotlight like I did in Black History Month on a few people who fall under this incredibly inclusive umbrella. But I also need to give a caveat. You will not find many openly out people of color or people who are not white and often male. Um, it, that comes with privilege and I've talked about that a lot lately. There were some studies that something like less than 15% of all the people who fall under the broader umbrella are actually open at work and out because they have fear of discrimination or repercussion or they just haven't felt safe and welcome to come out. So I can't cheer on all of the amazing people and I know several, but I can cheer on a few people that are out and open. And if you know somebody out there, please make sure that you extend to them gratitude for everything they've done and they're doing, and a wish that one day they too can be their open, authentic self without fear of consequence. So in no particular order, I'm going to start off my list today with just a couple people. Um, I want to start with Sally Ride. She was the first American woman to travel to space and remains the youngest U.S. citizen to date to claim that achievement. She was an engineer a physicist and an astronaut, and it was survived by her partner of 27 years, Tam O'Shaughnessy, in her death in 2012. Uh, her first flight was on board the Shuttle Challenger in 1983, and she made pioneering efforts and contributions into the use of the robotic arm. Um, it's pretty amazing. She became a professor of physics in 1989, and a director at the California Space Institute and wrote seven science books for children. And she also founded the Sally Ride Science uh, nonprofit to stimulate the interest of science subjects in schools. Uh, ben Bars was an acclaimed Stanford University neurobiologist. His pathbreaking discoveries of the crucial roles played by glial cells um, revolutionized the entire field of neurobiology and neuroscience. He was also strongly an advocate for marginalized minorities in academia. He transitioned from female to male to assume the identity that really fit closest to his heart in his late 40s, and in 2013 became the first openly trans man to be offered membership into the prestigious National Academy of Sciences. So, thank you, Dr. Bars. Next, I want to take 
a look way back in history to Sarah Josephine Baker. She was well known for tracking down typhoid Mary, and she was an openly gay woman and a pioneer in public health back in the late 1800s and early 1900s. She was from New York and really had a significant impact on the landscape of maternal and infant health outcomes in early 20th century New York City. She introduced, oh, a ton of measures to reduce mortality and morbidity. And her, her work really saved countless lives and kind of influenced the world far outside of New York as well. Next, I want to talk about Alan Turing. He was a well-known mathematician and uh, you may have heard of the Enigma machine. This allowed him, he designed it, developed it, invented it, and it allowed him to decode Nazi Germany's secret communication during World War II. Um, his namesake Turing machine is still considered the model of a general purpose computer. It is actually the predecessor of all modern day computers, including the technology that's in the smartphones that we are all addicted to and hold and carry everywhere. Unfortunately, despite his um, contributions during World War II, he fell victim to the British laws criminalizing homosexuality when he acknowledged that he was in a relationship with another man as part of a police investigation and a burglary at his home. And he wound up going to prison and there's a lot of things that happened there, but let's just say he killed himself a couple of years later due to results. And for my last spotlight, I want to take into our current timeline and spotlight Dr. Sean Whalen. He was recognized in 2020 as the LGBTQ plus science scientist of the year by the National Organization of Gay and Lesbian Scientists and Technical Professionals for his work in molecular biology. He helped develop genetic approaches to engineer harmless viruses to carry proteins from lethal viruses, such as the ones that cause Ebola and SARS. And a lot of his work was believed to be foundational in generation of some of the treatments and vaccines for the COVID-19 virus. Um, so these are just a few people I wanted to spotlight, and I know there's others out there. So if you know somebody in history or somebody in today that is open and willing and able to be out, please share your stories about their contributions and say thank you to them for me. We'll see you next week.